What do trilobites, like my friend Larry here and the woolly mammoth behind me, have in common? They're both extinct, of course. But trilobites have been extinct for quite a bit longer, about 250 million years. Woolly mammoths went extinct just 4,500 years ago, around the time that the Great Pyramids were being built in Egypt. My name's Nathaniel Newland. I'm the Assistant Director of Education here at Discovery Park of America, and this is a moment of discovery. For most of human history, the concept of extinction was a rather foreign idea. Cultures throughout time have held some idea of natural or supernatural providence, and that there was some order to the world that would prevent species from going away completely. When colonists began to discover the bones of mammoths and mastodons in the Americas in the 18th century, they assumed they were the remains of ancient giants or that they were from some creature that had simply moved further west. In fact, when the father of American paleontology, President Thomas Jefferson, commissioned Lewis and Clark's westward journey, one of his directives was to find a living mammoth west of the Mississippi. It was not until 1796 that Georges Cuvier, a French geologist, used fragments of mammoths found in the Paris Basin to declare that the species simply could not exist anymore. Nothing that large could go undiscovered through thousands of years of human history and the habitation of all of the lands where those bones were found. But it took Cuvier a very long time to convince a substantial portion of the scientific community of the plausibility of the concept of extinction. But when they accepted it, that concept opened the door for our understanding of life on Earth and the depth and intricacy of our planet's history. Thank you for joining us for Museum Week 2021. To learn more about extinction and a lot of other things, join us here at Discovery Park of America in Union City, Tennessee.